and a one, and a two, and a one, two, three, four. Happy birthday to you. Facebook family and friends, welcome to my our mom Lula Mold and balloon release birthday celebration. She wouldn't have it no other way than this. Now we're going to get started right now. We're going to have a prayer because prayer comes first before we do all things. Because without prayer, it's worse than dead. We're going to have Miss Pastor. Monica Davis. Amen, amen. Thank you for having me. If we can all just center ourselves, clear our minds, and I ask that you just close your eyes so we can become one with God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And join me as we approach the throne of grace. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we bless you. We honor you. We magnify you, Father God. We thank you for your son, Jesus, hallelujah, and his blood that washes and purifies us, oh God. You said in your word in 1 John that if we confess our sins, that you're faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. So, Father God, we ask that you would just purify us even now. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, we thank you that your word says that where two or more are gathered, that you are in the midst of us, oh God. So we believe that you are in the midst of us even now, oh God. We pray that you would have your way today, Father God, even here, hallelujah, in the front of the lawn, oh God, because you're not a God that you are confined to a place. You're not confined to a church because church is a temple and we all have our own temples right here in the name of Jesus. So Father God, we pray that you would bless this ceremony. We pray that you would have your way, oh God, that you would show us signs, miracles, and wonders even yeah. now, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you in advance for what you're doing. It yeah. is in Jesus' mighty, magnificent name that we say, yes. amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor Monica. You're welcome. This day is the day that the Lord has made. And I really want to rejoice and be glad in it. When Rosetta, Kevin, and I thought about Mom's celebration last year, we were in Canada. And oh boy, we celebrated. Because you know, my mom, she loved the blues. But she always gave God first the honor and the glory. So today we were thinking, like the other day we were saying, like, you know what? We gonna celebrate mom. Because see, mom would want us to celebrate this day. She wouldn't want us to be sitting around moping when God has gave us another day. I can remember starting this journey of taking care of our mother. I was 27 years old. I was working for Miss Bradwell, not knowing that working for her and taking care of 10 patients, adults, that it would lead me down the land of taking care of my own family. It all began with my dad. Then we went down memory lane with Pat, then we went down memory lane with Lynette, Edna, the Lord, my dad, and now Ma. Love your parents while they are here on earth. Because Lord knows when they're gone, there's no more. But the thing that she gave us was 
celebrate, smile. Thanksgiving Day, oh my God. We were all around the bed and she looked at Nook first and she said, Nook, Rodney, Rosanna, Lisa. She said our names one by one. We were trying to figure out what she was gonna say. She said, smile. She said, cause when God get ready for me, she say, I'm ready. She say, so smile. So today we are going to celebrate. And first we're going to have my grandbaby. Now when Ma heard her say her poem, she said, oh my God, oh my God, she loved it. So what a great honor to have her to say it to her great grandma now. My grandbaby precious. Today I'll be reciting a poem by the famous Maya Angelou. The poem is called Still I Rise. You may write me down in history with your bitter twisted lies. You may trod me in the very dirt, but just like dust, still I rise. Does my sassiness upset you? Why are you so beset with gloom? As if I, just because I walk, as if I have oil wells pumping in my living room. Just like moons and like suns with the certainty of tides, just like hope springing high, still I rise. Did you want to see me broken, bowed head and lowered eyes, shoulders falling like teardrops, weakened by my soul for cries? Does my sassiness upset you? <laughs> Don't take it so hard just because I laugh, as if I have gold mines digging in my own backyard. You may shoot me with your words, you may cut me with your lies, you may kill me with your hatefulness, but just like life, I'll rise. Does my sexiness upset you? Does it come as a surprise that I dance as if I have diamonds at the meeting of my thighs? I'm sorry. Out of the huts of history, shame, I rise. Up from a past rooted in pain, I rise, like a black ocean leaping and wide, welling and swelling and bearing in the tide. Leaving behind nights of terror and fear, I rise, into a day baked miraculously clear, I rise. Bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave, I am the hope and the dream of the slave. So still I rise, I rise, I rise. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to bring to you a childhood friend, Martina Montgomery.
Okay, we get ready to have on this microphone Wayne Henry. I was going to say, you know, can you set the paper for one? I hope you're to say that too. <laughs>
All right, now I'm getting ready to sing something for my mama. <laughs> this song, my mom, she loved this song. She, when we were little, she was, had seven girls and three boys, and she would sing this song, Oh Lord, you've been good to me. So mom, I'm going to sing it to you. Look how that sun just shined on me. That's mama. Look, did you see it? Look at her. Look at her. My God, my God. She used to sit at the table and she used to say, Oh Lord. Oh, oh Lord. You be. good to me. Right. Then she used to say, just send a thinking back over my life. Lord, 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 you've been mighty good to me. When I was down and out, I didn't have a dime. You made a way so many times. Say you brought me. Hey, hey, hey. You brought me. You brought me from a mighty long way. Then she used to sit down and she used to look at Kevin and she say, He's been a mother for me. The mama was gone. <laughs> He's been a father for me. He's been a sister. He's been a brother too. She said he didn't leave me. He stood right by my side. But Lord, Mama, he was. He washed all the tears from my eyes. Whoo, I'm telling you. Lord knows I thought I would never be able to say Mama again when he wiped the tears from my eyes. But he bought me someone in my life. And she can be a mother to all of us. And that's why I came in her yard for mama. I love you. Words can't say how much I love you. Because when your mother is still here, honor your mother and honor your father. Because I'm not trying to upset this. I'm crying because my mama gave me joy. She gave us all happiness, all seven girls and three boys, all the grandchildren, great-grandchildren, Marty friends, all the friends in the block, Jatan's friends. All the, I mean, she just gave love. My mama was 100% love. And that's what I'm going to do to keep her light shining. Kevin, Rosetta, Toya, and man, we got to keep that light shining. We can't just give up. We got to do what my life. Lisa used to come over with the New Year's Eve. She was in charge of New Year's Eve. Shonda was in charge and writing them all, you know, the bingos. Everybody had a part. So let's get together with the ones that's living and let's, let's make a, let's get a part. Everybody take a part in doing something for Lula May Martin. 
Now we get ready to have this dynamic mind dance by Ann Redbrook. Before I start, I have to say this. It was about four years ago when I brought my mind ministry here to minister in the backyard. To do that. And since then, it was three years in a row that she asked me to come to mom's birthday party and minister with you guys. So I feel like part of the family. But even more, the last time I sat there and I said, sit right next to her, she was so sharp, had a little baseball, she was sharp, she said to me, I love it when you do that. You just touch my heart. And I talked to Frida because I lost my mom. April 3rd this year. I never thought I'd be able to say mama again. And I was talking to Frida because I was going through a couple weeks ago. And I said, I just need to minister to somebody. Because I've been ministered to myself because you got to stay in. So when you go through something, if your mom is going on, it's, it is hard to try to think what you're going to hurt. But let me tell you this. You guys, mom, grandma, auntie, Mama left some pleasant memories with me because when we had the birthday party last year, my mom was sitting right next to her. And that's a beautiful picture in my mind. So it's a blessing to be asked to come out here. And the first number I'm going to do is how you know my name. See, because when mama went to the pearly girls, your mom and my mom would wait step to the gate. And they said, who is it? God just opened the gate up, right? And when they got in there, this is what they see.
She left you a precious gift, the gift of her memory that you always have in your mind and in your heart. So the white dove represents the spirit, the love that you felt with her, the friendship and the unity. So I pray today, Lord God, keep shining your everlasting light down upon the family and friends of Lula. Bless them. Stay within their hearts. Keep the spirit of Lula alive through her family, through her friends, and through your spirit, dear God. Oh, yeah. We're supposed to say something. Oh, it's a good spot. Oh. It's a good spot. Oh, it's a good spot. Okay. 